Hello my friends and welcome to The Simple Sober Life. If you don't know me or if this is your first time watching, I'm Joshua and I help others make sm simple changes to create a life of awesome. So the reason that I'm creating this video is I was getting a little bit of feedback about um, how people feel I might be stepping away from the original intention of this channel which was to help um, other alcoholics and people in recovery um, create a better life in sobriety. And I don't really think that I've stepped away from my goal per se. I feel like it's just taken a different road than I had intended. And, you know, now I'm producing um, videos to help people with finance and business and relationships, all of these things that, you know, we want to focus on once we have um, entered into recovery. You know, it's not just about putting down the bottle. You know, we've got to evolve and create a better life all around for ourselves. But... <clears throat> I, what I intended to, uh, uh, to put up this video yesterday on Monday. Um, and that's actually, and the reason I didn't is because, well, I didn't really have a topic. And um, I put some other things ahead of creating this video. I've got other things that are, I've got going on and I, I had to focus on those. So what I wanted to talk about today was, was intentions. You know, we intend to be the best person that we can be and we intend to you know start the day right and you know full of happiness and full of joy we usually go into the day with good intentions you know i intended to create that video or this video yesterday i intended to you know produce a blog post yesterday i intended to do all these things and I've often heard the, um, the, uh, the phrase or whatever, uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I don't really know if I believe that. I don't think I, I believe that at all. Um, I think intentions are, you know, kind of the stepping stone to taking action towards the goals that we want to achieve. You know, at first, you know, I, in, I woke up every day you know, for years intending not to drink. But every time I would fall short, I, would, I kept intending every single day over and over and over, you know, intending not to drink, intending to be a better person, intending to, you know, go to work on time and, and pay my bills on time. I had all these great intentions, but it wasn't until I actually took action and started doing something about it that, you know, any, th any sort of positive change came into play. But those intentions were always there. They were always, you know, sitting there. And, you know, I would remind myself every morning, every day, I'm intending to be a better person. And so I really think intentions are kind of the, the the stepping stones into creating action when you're ready to actually create that action. I was talking to um, a really good uh, Facebook uh, friend today. Um, I've never met her in person. She um, she follows the Simple Sober Life on Facebook, and you know she's she's amazing. She comments on the posts, and you know we have great engagement. And I created a post yesterday um, just. A general question of how everyone's weekend was and she came forth and and announced that she had fallen off the wagon first of all very brave of her to uh, to um, uh, 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 take um, responsibility and admit that <clears throat> very brave huge step that's awesome but I'm willing to bet she did not intend to uh, starting out that day to start drinking. And so <clears throat> while our intentions are really a good step, a good first step into creating the change that we want in our lives, um, we also have to, you know, kind of let ourselves off the hook once in a while. 
We, you know, over inundate ourselves with so much stuff, you know, and I don't know if this is an alcoholic thing or not, but I know for me, you know, I've always striven to be the best, be the perfect person, be everything, everything had to go perfectly. And I would put so much stress on myself that I think, at least in part, that led to <clears throat> my wanting to drink as much as I did because it was an escape. I didn't have to feel that responsibility. I didn't have to feel all that stress and everything. And so while <clears throat> I never intended to be an alcoholic, that's kind of where it, it, it led, that's not kind of, that's where it's, it led to. And so, you know, I, I had to let myself off the hook and admit that and then start reversing those intentions into not drinking and into creating a better life for myself. So <clears throat> sometimes we just have to let ourselves off the hook if we don't exactly meet our intentions. We may not be in the perfect spot to do it at this moment. We may not be ready emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially ready to do it at this moment. And so just because we set an intention not to have, you know, a cupcake today or a candy bar or a bag of chips, you know, if we fall short, you know, we can't beat ourselves up over it because we weren't able to be perfect at that intention. But what we can do is we can <clears throat> take notice of it like, like this Facebook friend did and, you know, recourse our action, re-change uh, our route, you know, carve a new path, okay? So I wasn't able to meet this intention today. What am I gonna do differently so that I can take a, a, a step forward tomorrow? Or it doesn't even have to be tomorrow. It can start right now, you know? You know, you may have had a bag of chips for lunch. Does that mean you're gonna have to have another one for dinner? No, no, it doesn't. Now I know in being an alcohol, once I started drinking, there was no stopping until the next day. I had a chance the next day. Um, but once I started in the morning, my intentions were shot. Everything was downhill from there. And so <clears throat> I would have to restart the day with a new intention. So I hope you got value out of this. If you like this kind of video, it's gonna be raw, unedited, just kind of a kind of a vlog style type video. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. Um, comment down below. I'd love to know um, how your intentions are going and you know, what intentions do you have? How do you start the day? How do you, what, what's your intentions for the day? Um, anyway, my friends, take care. I'll talk to you soon and make sure to subscribe.